The following is a live presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. Hi there, everybody. My name is Ron Jugger. Welcome to the program for the 16th day of August. Ninth, or tw 19. 20 to 22. They're the 45th anniversary of the death of one Elvis Presley. Love me tender. Love me true. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. And a little less conversation, please. So today we change up the game because the Yankees are really now in a world of hurt. They're now six and a half behind the Blue Jays. Toronto is a five-game lead on the Red Sox as we play the games of the 14th of September, 1985. So we're up to Saturday now. And so we shift our cameras and our, and our traveling Wilburys Roadshow to Oakland for Kansas City and the A's. The A's aren't in it. They're 63 and 78. They actually, I think, did about what they did in real life. But you can see some, some of what would happen in a few years is already on the field. Tony Phillips is at third base. Uh, Alfredo Griffin is at short. And some kid by the name of Conseco is uh, having a juice box full of vitamin B12 is in left field. So that is there. And Kansas City finds themselves in their 140th game of the year, tied for first place with the California Angels. And so the Royals just need to keep pace. They're 74 and 65, while the A's get a TV appearance. How about that? So it's the Royals and the A's to start this week in our 1985 replay. As Retro Sports Network presents... Major League Replay 1985. Today, from the Oakland Alameda Coliseum in Oakland, California, it is the Oakland A's and the Kansas City Royals. And today's game is brought to you by DigitalAdvice.com, the best darn podcast on the web for your sports simulation and replay needs. Find us today on Spotify, Spreaker, iTunes, or wherever else fine podcasts are listed. How you doing, Sign Mine? Nice to have you along on a Tuesday. So, and Trad Fan, how are you? So it'll be Tommy John versus Brett Saberhagen. And then when you look at Tommy John's numbers, they are, in a word, well, retirement comes to mind. Although John would go on to pitch, I think, for two more years after this. He came over from California on the 26th of July. And he has three starts left, or ten, two starts left after this. This is the ninth of the year with Oakland. And it's been all that and a, and a big old plate of liver and onions for Tommy. 0 and 6 with a 788 ERA. He is only 42 years old. And wow, I don't know how you figure Tommy John is a fly ball pitcher. That man could, could sink anything. Fastball tops out at 81. So with Oakland, he has not faced Kansas City. That's not a very good play. No, not at all. His last start, by the way, came against the, his old team, the Yankees, on September 7th. He lost 5-2, five, five innings, and that seems to be about where his max is at this point. 76 pitches, 9 hits, 4 runs all earned, 2 homers. He didn't walk anybody and struck out two. Tommy John, who, goodness, 11 years before this, had a surgery that they named after him. Imagine that. 40 innings with Oakland, 53 hits. Tuesday baseball, 35 runs for TJ, 30, all earned. Five homers, he's walked 19 and struck out nine. And that 788 ERA is the lowest that he's had with Oakland. Oh, goodness gracious, Buffy St. Marie. So the Royals have got to be thinking that this is going to be an easy win. Here is how they line up. Lonnie Smith leads off in left field. Lynn Jones in center will bat second. George Brett at third will bat third. Hal McRae, the DH, cleans up. Frank White at second will bat fifth. Steve Balboni at first will go sixth. Daryl Motley in right will bat seventh. Big Dave, how are you? Jim Sundberg behind the plate goes eighth, and Onyx Concepcion at short will bat ninth. 
the defense for Oakland, and yes, you get the Mount Davis version of Oakland Alameda Coliseum. Jose Canseco was 6-8 and an eight in left. Yeah, it was a rookie year in 85. Dwayne Murphy at 8-4 and a four in center, and Mike Davis is a 5-8 and an eight in right. Tony Phillips at 8 at third. Alfredo Griffin a 5 at short. Mike Gallego a 4 at second. Bruce Bochy a 3 at first. Mike Heath a 3 and a 6 behind the plate. And Tommy John a 6 on the mound with a 1,000 fielding percentage. So with all that, Oakland again 63 and 78. Kansas City and California are dead even. So, it is, it, Kansas City's got to figure, they got to win this. Lonnie Smith at 253, four homers and 39 RBI. John starts the afternoon with a fly ball to left. Canseco is there, and Jose makes the catch, one out. It is a Chamber of Commerce day in Oakland. 70 degrees, clear skies, winds blowing across the bay, from 12 miles an hour from left to right. If you were to kick a field goal towards the right side, I, I think even Sebastian Janikowski would approve. Here's Lynn Jones, 237, no homers, and nine RBI. John wines and deals, and there's a fly ball right center. Murphy riding over, ranges to make the catch. A great diving catch on the turf. Oh, Dave. Yep. Thank you very much. Here's George Brett. Oh, look at that batting average. 314. He's hitting on the replay. 31 homers and 87 RBI. Yeah, if you're a member of our Dis Digital Dice Patreon, you get the Discord conversations and perks. Become a member today and join for five months or five dollars a month, and you can get a link to our Discord server. John's pitch to George. Paul and Ringo go back to make the catch. No, that's Conseco, rather. And Jose makes a second catch of the inning, and that will retire the side. Royals go in order. Half an inning in the books. Kansas City, nothing. Here comes Oakland. Uh, Tribe fan is going to a Guardians game. Make sure that you bring some dog biscuits and your Blue Jackets jersey. Brett Saberhagen making his 28th start of the year. He is going to be nowhere near the 20 and 6 he was when he won the Cy Young Award in 1985. Instead, he's 9 and 11. ERA is close. It's 307. Brett didn't even get rookie of the year. I wonder if he was even eligible. 21 years old, a fastball at 88 and a ground ball pitcher making his third start against the A's. 16 and a third innings, 12 hits. Three runs all earned. He walked two and struck out 12 in his own one, but with a 1.65 ERA. He last pitched on the ninth, so five days ago, against the Angels in a 5 4 loss where he went the distance and threw 144 pitches, allowed 13 hits. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. In his last eight starts, he's gone over 10 hits five times. He allowed five runs, only four earned. The home run, a wa two walks and five strikeouts. So Saberhagen, 222 and two-thirds innings, 226 hits, 86 runs, 76 of those earned. He's given up 26 home runs. Control is not a problem for Brett. 38 walks and 155 strikeouts. I was just giving you a hard time because you root for all those. A little warm for the sweater. What's your temperature? It's a beautiful day here today. 78 degrees. Warm, sunny, and pleasant, the weather in Vermont. This time of day at lunch. Alfredo Griffin, by the way, leads off for Oakland at short. Tony Phillips at third will bat second. Bruce Bochy at first goes third. Dave Kingman is the DH. Kong will clean up. Mike Davis is in right. He'll bat fifth. Dwayne Murphy in center goes sixth. Jose Canseco in left will bat seventh. Mike Heath behind the plate goes eighth. And Gallego 
uh, at second. Well, bat ninth, Tommy John threw eight clean pitches in the first inning. Defensively for the Royals, Lonnie Smith a four and a five and left. No Willie Wilson again today. And Lynn Jones a five and a three in center. Darrell Motley a three and a four in right. Brett a seven at third. Concepcion is an eight at short. Frank White an eight at second. Balboni a five at first. I'm being told it's 72 in Cleveland. And in Cincinnati it's WKRP. Sunberg an eight and a nine behind the plate for Kansas City. And Saberhagen is a seven on the mound with a 968 fielding percentage. Griffin steps up at 292. No homers and 48 RBI. In John's replay, he and the whole Kansas City pitching staff underachieved. I don't think the PC knew how to handle them. Yeah. They were all horses, then it was quiz, but the AI would constantly pull them early and tire quiz out, so he couldn't finish the games even to get the saves. I think quiz had 25 decisions in your replay. We talking action, PC? Wow. Yep. The one thing that I would say in action PC that needs to be looked at is how bullpens are used. Pitch to Griffin. Alfredo pops it up right side. Balboni guards against the midday sun. One out. And Saberhagen is hurt. Oops. Well, the keyboard got stuck again. So, Saber Hagen finished by striking out the next two batters. McCray walked, and now Frank White flies out the center. Can we actually get control of the game now? No. Steeler fan, how are you? So there are times when the game kind of gets out of whack. You know, there's a time every October when the satellite kind of goes nuts. And you can see it go from different parts of the country in their shadows. Well, that's what we just had there. So this will be the quick pitch version. So the A's went down in order. And then Kansas City quietly went down in order in the second. So you didn't miss anything. So no runs, no hits. There, I think they left a runner on. Who the hell knows? We go to the bottom of the second as I finally have taken control of my keyboard. It is Kansas City nothing, Oakland nothing. So Sabre Hagen threw 16 pitches in the first. As we rejoin you with Dave Kingman at the plate, 237, 26 homers for Kong, and 74 RBI. And sometimes you... You are the windshield, and today, on the stream, we are the bug. And if you ask Michael Jackson, he is the world. So, with all that being said, pitch to Kingman, popped up, Sunberg goes over, and can't make the catch, so the count is full. Yeah, always good to have the keyboard go nuts on you. When I bought this computer, it didn't have a numerical keyboard, and I need that sometimes to run the mouse. And so I have a wireless keyboard that's on top of it, but it'll press sometimes on other keys. And if I don't have it laying on the proper spot, and that's one of those things, and today I decided to be like my cat and not behave. Uh. So, the full count pitch to Kingman, and Dave strikes out. And, yep, that's the third for Saberhagen. So, let's show you what you missed. Griffin popped out. Then Tony Phillips struck out. 
And Bruce Bochy struck out to end the inning. And then the Cal in the Kansas City second, McCray walked. Frank White flew out to center. Steve Balboni lined out to third, and Daryl Motley flew out to left. So that's what you missed. The Harry Doyle version, just a bit outside. That would be the Mr. Belvedere edition, right? Mike Davis at 251, 16 homers, and 57 RBI. And Davis hits this one into right. Motley will make the catch, and that will be two out. For Dwayne Murphy, Dwayne at 237, 20 homers, and 58 RBI. Yeah, always good to have a glitch on the stream, of course. Pitch to Dwayne. There's a fly ball right field. Motley moves over. My computer's a Motley crew, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, and no errors. You got to see all of that this time. How about that? After two, no score. So John threw a 10-pitch second, including the walk to McCray. Sunberg at 232, 10 homers, and 40 RBI. TJ deals, and there's a pop-up. Left side, Phillips. One out. 60 degrees under the Marine push this morning in West Seattle. Headed for 80 after the burnoff. How are you? 78 here. It's just drop dead gorgeous. Except for my computer, which is not behaving. A motley crew that can sing better than Vince Neal. Okay. Is he the one that you don't call Dr. Feelgood? Or did he visit Dr. Feelgood too much? Onyx Concepcion, 190, four homers and 30 RBI. One out here in the third. And Concepcion bloops this one to left center. Murphy rides a Schwinn, makes the catch. Two out. And so Tommy John is opening nine on 26 pitches. Two and two thirds and a walk. Lonnie is 0 for 1. We got his numbers. I got to remember, McCray is the first one I got to do the stats for. Smith, a chopper to third. Phillips on the grass. Snap throw to first. And Lonnie can run. And he is out on a bang banger. And TJ is looking good through three. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of the third here in Oakland. No score. So here's Conseco, and yet his rookie year was 85, 429, 9 for 21 since his call up from Tacoma. In the real replay or the real year, 302, five homers and 13 RBI. Saber Hagen deals. That's in the left. Smith coming in. Lonnie will make the catch. One out for Mike Heath. Mike at 255, 10 homers, and 35 RBI. We've reached a time of year here in Burlington where it just is gorgeous. We need some rain. Might get it this afternoon. Or tomorrow afternoon, but right now, just gorgeous. Pitch to Heath. Base hit left field. Right in front of Lonnie Smith will pick it up. And Mikey's got himself a single. Here's Gallego, 293. No homers, 10 doubles, and 10 RBI. Gallego, another late season call up, I think. He looks like a baby in that picture, doesn't he? Pitch to Mike. There's a fly ball to left. Smith ranging in the corner. And you got acres and acres of space here at the Coliseum. Lonnie makes the catch for the out, and Heath goes back to first. So two out for Griffin. Saberhagen, an opening nine of 42 pitches, two and two-thirds. They hit in three strikeouts. Griffin is 0 for 1. Overall, 
Don't think I gave out the stats. 291, nine triples, and 48 RBI. Chopper to Balboni, who takes it to the bag himself, and that will retire the side. So a pitcher's duel here in Oakland. The wind now blowing out to left center at 17. After three, no score. So Jones, Brett, and McRae to face Tommy John here in the fourth. Lynn is 0 for 1. And there's a ground ball. Griffin, a diving stop by the bag. Over to first, and that will be one out. John says this replay is having a very realistic results. In mine, the records of these teams were flipped. I could see that. I could see where Oakland would be a threat in 85. TJ made no effort to fill the void left by Sutton, who was masterful for the A's. I thought they'd fold after the trade, but they limped to the division title, only to get swept by the Yanks. I think if you just put all seven teams in the American League West in a hat, I gave you Brett's numbers. I think that was the last batter before the game glitched. He's 0 for 1. You can make a case for any of the seven teams. And you can make a case for the A at least winner to win them all. Pitch to Brett. George swings. That's deep into left field. Back goes Canseco in the corner. And Jose Can You See makes the catch. Two out. So here's Hal McRae. He walked his first time up. In real life, the A's were in it until July. A's were in it quite late here, too. I think really till about the 1st of August. They went to a major slide. And just like they did in the replay, in real life, they couldn't get out of it. McCray now, it, well, it hasn't had that bat. So he's still at 250, hitting 257, 17 homers and 46 RBI. The weird thing about the Sutton trade is that it was within the division. Doesn't he go to California? Pitch to Hal. Base hit past Gallego, and that's the first hit for the Royals. So Hal has a walk in a single. Still two out for White. Frank, 239 now, 19 homers, and 76 RBI. How patriotic of Frank. Jose, can you keep the ball from bouncing off your head? That actually happened in Cleveland with the, against the Rangers. Frank is 0 for 1. Flew out to center during the glitch and there's a fly ball right field Davis will make the catch and that will retire the side so the Royals thinking they're going to have an easy time against the pitcher with the ERA close to 8 not doing anything 3 and a half down no score alright here in the standings ow boy that reverberated off everything in here so we'll start with the American League West. California and Kansas City are deadlocked. The winning percentage is 532. And again, we're not kidding. You take any of those seven teams, and you can make a case why they should have won the division. Although Kansas City is the only one to have a positive run differential. California plays well at home. The Twins play well at home. The White Sox played well at Comiskey. And Seattle and Oakland still have winning records at home. But none of these teams, except for the Royals, are road warriors. And in the division, the team with the best record, the California Angels. They are 37-26. and 26. But even the last place A's are 26-36. and 36. Not terrible by any stretch. And the East Toronto by five over the Red Sox and six and a half over the Yankees, who have found the wrong time to go south. In the National League West, the Dodgers' magic number is four. If they win their game today and Houston loses theirs, and the Astros have won four straight, then we will try to do the Dodger clincher tomorrow. In the East, nobody seems to want that division. St. Louis is up by default and the Dodgers 
are cruising towards a hundred win year. So Tony Phillips at 213 and 7 RBI at the plate. He struck out his first time up. One of the two by Saber, three by Saberhagen. And there's a ground ball base hit. Got past everybody. And for Oakland, that's their second hit. Here's Bochy. Bruce at 273. Now eight homers and 42 RBI. Saberhagen struck him out. His first time up. Line drive to left. Smith spears it. One out for Kingman. And I think we're all caught up on, after Balboni, on what we missed. Dave struck out, one of three by Saberhagen. Kong swings in the shallow left. Lonnie Smith coming in, makes the catch two out. I would venture to guess Here's Mike Davis. Mike is 0 for 1. I think California takes that division. As good as Quisenberry was, I, I just don't think that he's had that great of a year. Now, can California and Don, you know, their starters are good. The thing is, with the Angels, especially if it's going to be Toronto, is that can Donnie Moore match wits with Tom Henke? Because the Blue Jays have a huge advantage with Henke, regardless of who they play. Davis swings. There's a base hit into center field. Jones will pick it up. Phillips will try for third. They're going to run on Jones's arm with two out. Jackie Moore sends him the throw to Brett. Is going to be, I believe that's dead duck territory. Yep, Jones threw him out. A great throw by Lynn Jones and a better tag by George Brett. And that will retire the side. A's have three hits overall and they've left on two. He played four. No score. So here's Balboni. 249 now. 32 homers, 86 RBI. He did not strike out his first time up. And there's a base hit into center field. That might be extra. Yeah, he'll take two. Murphy's throw is late. And for Balboni, known for his power, that's his 33rd double of the year. So Daryl Motley, the batter. Daryl is 0 for 1. John from the stretch. And Motley draws a walk, and he's hurt? And yeah, he's hurt. He only got hit. He got hit in the elbow, and Motley's out. And so Vince Neal will now take care of Daryl Motley, and Pat Sheridan is now the runner at third. Sheridan, the pinch runner, and can play right field, so I imagine he would stay in the game. So first and second, nobody out here in the fifth, and what clearly has been Tommy John's best game since coming over from the Angels. Sunberg is 0 for 1. John's pitch in the left. Canseco again. You've got acres and acres here. Makes the catch for the out. And they're going to run. Balboni's going to run on Canseco. The throw to third is not in time. Balboni beat it. One out. And John just looks over and laughs. So here's Concepcion. Onyx is 0 for 1. Pitch from John. There's a little number down to first. I think Bochi throws to Gallego. Balboni will... Does he hold? That was a bunt. That was a sacrifice, not a safe a squeeze. So a second and third and two out. Deceptive speed. Yes. Balboni and I have deceptive speed. So opening 18 for Tommy, 60 pitches, four and two thirds, two hits, a walk, 
Lonnie Smith is 0 for 2. So Tommy John, he started this game with an earned run average of Oakland of 788. And as is fitting with California, it's now 705, which I'm sure winds somewhere away in the LA basin, right? Or is is that a Bay Area highway? Runners on second and third. Smith into right, and Kansas City is going to be stymied. How about that? Davis with a catch. And that will retire the side. No runs, no hit, or one hit, no errors. The Royals leave on two. Halfway home on a Tuesday afternoon. No score. Where's my mouse? There we go. Well, let me catch my breath before I have to go through and read this long recap. If you joined us late, <gasps> Daryl Motley, sir, that, that's all you've missed. No, I didn't mean to close that out. It's been a pitcher's duel between the Angels' Tommy John who's throwing a two-hitter and the rookie Brett Saberhagen who's throwing a three-hitter. And everyone's just got zeros up on the board. So it's a bagel fest here in Oakland. Here's Dwayne Murphy. Dwayne is 0 for 1. Saberhagen starts the fifth with a fly ball left center field. Back goes Jones. Away back there. And that is caught by Concepcion. Or is that a single? That's a single. Really, that was kind of one of those that the shadow of the chalkboard made look a lot deeper than it really was. Concepcion kept running out. Jones kept running in, and it dropped between them. So there's a leadoff single for Conseco, who's 0 for 1. You can tell the stadiums I've never done a game from, because I had, honestly had no idea what was going on. Pitch to Jose. There's a base hit in the left center. I know that. Lonnie Smith cuts it off in the alley. Murphy goes to... Th Murphy's caught off a second. How about that? Concepcion wings it, and everybody's safe. So Murphy was trying to take third on the single. Concepcion showed Murph the ball. I think he waited too long to throw it to second, and Dwayne Murphy got back there. So for the Royals, it's not been a royally good day. There should be one out. There isn't because Murph got back. So here's Heath, who's single. He's going to square. He drops it. Sunberg throws to first. White is there. And it's a sacrifice 2-4. So now the A's have runners on second and third. And Conseco probably can score on a single. Here's Gallego. He is 0 for 1. And Saberhagen is just beside himself on the mound. Now Brett has to dig deep. Almost as bad as Jerks and Profar challenging a run in the runner winning last night. <laughs> I'm not touching that one, but yeah. So the pitch to Gallego. There's a ground ball to second. That will score a run. Murph will score. The throw to Balboni. Two out. And Conseco moves to third. And so Oakland gets the first run of the ball game. They lead one nothing. So that brings up Alfredo Griffin, who's 0 for 2. Saberhagen... Kind of wondering what in the world has happened here. 
75 pitches through 18 batters. Two outs here in the fifth. Five hits, the run is earned, and he's fan three. He has pitched good, but is on the wrong end of a one nothing ball game. Hard ground ball to Balboni. Steve takes it to the bag himself, and that will retire the side. But Oakland draws first blood. One run, two hits, no errors. We go to the sixth. one nothing, Hayes. So Tommy John to face Jones, Brett, and McCray. Lynn is 0 for 2. Pitch from TJ. Griffin over the mound, behind the bag at second, over to first, one out. Brings up George Brett, who's 0 for 2. These are the games the Royals must win. They've played six more times, and Oakland has taken five of seven. And in fact, they've outscored them. The A's three and one against Kansas City here at the Coliseum. Brett in the left field. Canseco has it for the out, two away. Wind at 17 now from dead center. Out to dead center. Here's McCray. Hal has a walk in a single. He has been the Kansas City offense. Not this time. At least he grounds it foul. And the count goes to 0 and 2. So Tommy Jump, I think. Well, he went seven innings against Detroit on August 22nd. but working on his second longest outing since coming over from California. McCray in the left field. Canseco read that one well and will make... No! Oh, what the heck was that? That got over his head, and that's a ground rule double. Canseco thought he had it played. But the wind, we said, it's sharp at 17 out the center field. And it kind of took a weird hop on Conseco. Hit on the grass again. I should know there would be no football in Oakland in 85 in September. And bounced over the scoreboard. So a ground rule double for McCray. And that'll bring up White, who's 0 for 2. John deals. And that's gone. A home run to left center field, and the Royals pull up two to one. Or go up two to one. So White is 20th of the year. I'm not going to show you the replay. We've had enough go wrong in the stream so far. Hit that one to left center field. And the Royals get their first runs. So the weird ground rule double. Over Kinsenko's head proves costly. And so here is Balboni. Steve is one for two. Odd himself a double. And there's a fly ball to left. Kinsenko, make sure you catch that one, Jose. He does, and that will finally retire the side. But the Royals, two runs on two hits. The big homer by Frank White. Yep. <laughs> Big home run by Frank White makes it 2-1, to one, Kansas City. So here's Phillips, Bochy, and Kingman. And if you look up on the scoreboard, you're seeing something you would have seen from 1955 to 1967. Or 1954 to 1967. Kansas City A's. After they left Philadelphia, they spent some time in Kansas City. Charlie Finley wanted... To do more and so he had a brand new ballpark in Oakland and which he spent the rest of his career trying to get out of. Here's Tony Phillips one for two. He has singled and struck out. Saber Hagen is opening 19 on 81 pitches. Five innings, five hits and three strikeouts. Phillips foul tips that one back 
and there's so much file room here that I almost went back to San Francisco. Town is one and two. Actually, Mount Davis faces San Francisco, right? Struck him out. That's four for Saberhagen. Phillips foul tipped it in the waiting glove of Sundberg. One out. So here's Bochy. Bruce is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. And that one is fouled back off the mask of Sundberg. So Jim stands up, walks around a little bit. Old umplate, umpire Al Red Sox fan asks if, if Sundberg can kick. Sundberg says, I think so. And Al says, you're okay to stay in the game. So the 0-1 count now to Bochy, who struck out. He's 0 for 2. In the left center, Jones riding the Schwinn makes the catch. Two out for Kingman. Ong is 0 for 2 with the strikeout. Pitch from Saberhagen. There's a line drive to right. Sheridan, who's a 5 and a 5 out there, makes the catch, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the 7. This one's been a pretty good ball game in Oakland. 2-1 to one, Royals. So Sheridan, who's coming in following the injury, at 281, two homers and 25 RBI. And Greg Pryor is going to pinch hit. And lefty versus lefty, that's the right move. So Pryor at 203, a homer and six RBI, but as a pinch hitter, hitting 063. Ground ball over the mound. Gallego in front of the bag at second, over to first, one out. So that'll bring up Sunberg. Jim is 0 for 2. Line drive. Griffin is there. Two out. And now bring up bring up Onyx Concepcion, who's 0 for 1. TJ deals. Chopper to, to Gallego, who scoops it up like a Hoover. Throws to Bochi for the out. Stretch time. 2-1, to one, Kansas City. So Leaper, Dave Leaper, he's a lefty, 26 years old, goes into play right, he's a two and a three. So Mike Davis, one for two, a single, Murph and Conseco to follow. Saber Hagen starts the seventh. A ground ball right side. Balboni's there. One out. Brings up Murph. Dwayne is one for two. A single and a run scored. That came in the fifth. A lone run for Oakland. Popped up. Sunberg doffs the mask. Two out. For Canseco, looking for his first major league home run. One for two with a single. Saber Hagen deals and struck him out. He got him on the outside corner to retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the eighth here in Oakland. Two to one, Kansas City. And so top of the lineup to face Tommy John. We'll give Tommy a base runner. John at 90 pitches, 7 innings, 27 batters, 4 hits. The home run, the 2-run shot by White in the 6th, and a walk. 
Lonnie Smith is 0 for 3. TJ starts the eighth with a ground ball to John. Over to Bochi. One out. And so for Tommy, it's his longest outing with Oakland. Brings up Lynn Jones, who's one, oh, 0 for 3. TJ deals. And there's a chopper to short. Griffin across the way. Eventually, there's two out. And that'll bring up George Brett, and that will do it for Tommy John. So a good outing for TJ. Can't use Kurt Young. Can't use Tim Conroy, and I certainly wouldn't want to bring in Jeff Kaiser. So it's going to be... Steve Onaveros coming in. Steve... 24 years old, making his 25th appearance of the year. 5-4 and four on the replay with an earned run average of 248. Against the Royals, four appearances, five innings, a hit, three strikeouts, and two walks. He last pitched against the Royals yesterday. Two-thirds of an inning, eight pitches, and one strikeout in a 4-3 win. So 32 and two-thirds for Steve. 19 hits, nine runs, all earned. The homer came against Seattle on October 3rd. He's walked nine and struck out 16. He is a ground ball pitcher, and that fastball tops out at 85, and you would figure that he is in for the last four outs of this one. George Brett is 0 for 3. Onaveros winds and deals. Right center field, Davis running over, and will make the catch. And that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of the eighth, two to one, KC. So Heath, Gallego, and Griffin here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Two runs, four hits, no errors for the Royals. They've left on four. One run, five hits, no errors, and Oakland has left on three. Pitch to Heath. Struck him out. That's six for Saberhagen. An 0-2 fastball on the inside corner. So one out for Gallego, who has an RBI. He is 0 for 2. Fielder's choice for Mike. Struck him out. He swung on and missed a change uh, fastball. So two out. Saberhagen looking for his 10th win of the year. Kmart, how are you? Here's Alfredo Griffin, opening 27 for Saberhagen, 7 and 2 thirds for Brent, 111 pitches, 5 hits and 7 strikeouts. Doing oh, well, thanks. You? Griffin is 0 for 3. Ground ball to Concepcion. Onyx, a long throw to first. Do, glad you're doing well. And Griffin beat it out on a bang banger. So that's an infield hit. It's just a long, long throw. Wasn't a bad throw. It's just a long throw. And now bring up Tony Phillips. Tony is one for three. He has struck out twice and singled. And he is the go-ahead run. Throw to first and Griffin is back. Griffin can steal. He won't hear, but he can steal. Got him. Saberhagen struck out the side. And for Phillips, that's three today. He'll need some milk of magnesia to soup that bomb. No runs, one hit, and no errors. We go to the ninth here in Oakland on a windy, windy, windy afternoon. Two to one, Kansas City. So 78 degrees. Wind's blowing out to dead center at 22. It'll be McCray who has a single, a ground rule double, a run scored, and a walk. White, who hit the two-run homer to score McCray, and Balboni to face Onaveros here in the ninth. Two to one Royals. And they got McCray. He got him on an 0-2 fastball on the black outside. One out. So here's White. In the sixth, he hit his 20th of the year. And he's now driven in 78. Line drive to third. Phillips, two out. 
Bochi, Kingman, and Davis probably to face either Saber Hagen and Qu or Quisenberry in the ninth. So Balboni, one for three. He has his 33rd double of the year. His last time up. To third, Phillips. Long, long throw. Bochi is there, and that retires the Royals. No runs, no hits, no errors. So the Royals, in a game where you'd think they'd make some hay, get four hits. Saberhagen stays in for Bochi. Kingman and Davis to follow. Bottom of the ninth, the A's need one to tie and two to win. And Bochi draws a leadoff walk. He was 0 for 3 coming into it, and that fastball on a 3-1 count was outside. And so here's Kingman, who can win this game. If there's anyone that has the power, it is Mr. Kong, who was 0 for 3 with a strikeout. And so Saberhagen mops his brow and then works from the stretch. Chopper to short, might be two. Concepcion, a diving stop, wide for one, and no throw to first. Well, the throw to first is late. Kingman will beat it out, but Concepcion saved a single. So Dave Collins comes in to run at first. Here's Mike Davis, one for three, with a single. But the A's had the tying run on, and Davis the winning run at the plate. Now Boney and Brett guard the lines. Saberhagen deals. Ball four. And now you gotta wonder. Still no call for Quisenberry. And Dwayne Murphy can win this game with a double. He is one for three, a single and a run scored. So Collins, who has afterburners for speed, is on second. He's a tying run, and Davis is the winning run. However, a ground ball could win this for Kansas City. Pitch to Murph. Line drive, Balboni is there, and doubles off Davis on the bag. And the Royals are going to win it. And sometimes you just need that sort of luck. That was a frozen rope to Balboni that Davis thought was going to run down the line. And so Balboni caught it. Davis was about 20 feet off the bag, Balboni about 10 feet, and Steve ran over, touched the bag, and that's a win. Wow. And so the game ends on a line drive, double play to first, and the Royals escape with a 2-1 win. So the Royals move to 75 and 65. Well, hold on a sec. You might not have that yet, Mr. Howard. Two runs, four hits, no errors for the Royals. They left on four. The A's did all they could. One run, six hits, no errors, and they left on five. Poor Tommy John, a four-hitter. He gave up the one blast to White. It falls to 0 and 7. Seven and two-thirds, four hits in a walk. And his longest outing since coming over from California. Brett Saberhagen goes the distance. He is 10 and 11 now, nine innings. He's your digital dice player of the game, by the way. Six hits, one run. It was earned. He walked two and struck out eight and threw 145 pitches in the effort. And so, but thanks to the smart thinking of Steve Balboni, when has that ever stopped you before, Scotty? Saves the game. And so let's find out if we have the Dodgers tomorrow or another game for you tomorrow. At the moment, the Royals lead by half a game. 
So, Matt, don't look, but it'll be... So, if San Diego beats Houston and the Dodgers beat Cincinnati, well, hey, the, the Reds will get an appearance on Retro Sports Network. So, the rest of this Saturday in baseball, it's a busy one. Two double headers for you. And the Cardinals lose again. So, we start between Minnesota and Cleveland. Cleveland wins the opener 8 to 4. Waddle goes to 5 and 5. Butcher 8 and 15. Herbeck 3 for 5 is 21st. Burt wins the nightcap 1 nothing, 6 nothing. It's a twin shutout. Yeah, the Yankees win, of course, when I'm not watching. Burt, one strikeout. It will not be the Dodgers because I saw the Astros won. One strikeout, complete game shutout. Neil Heaton falls to 5 and 20. Orioles take two from the Tigers. That might be the Tigers season right there. Four to three in the first one. Boddicker, 15 and 10, beats Frank Tanana, 7 and 7. Kirk Gibson, three for four. A double and a stolen base in the, in the night cap. Mike Flanagan beats Mickey Mailer, I think, 11 to 6. Alan Wiggins, four for six, two doubles and a stolen base. Cubs beat the Cardinals six to three. Ray Fontenot five and seven. Kirk Kepshire, boy, if the Cardinals need him to win a playoff game, whew, he's seven and thirteen. Sean Dunstan two for four, his second of the year in the stolen base. Yankees beat the Blue Jays five to four. Shirley goes to seven and one. Davis falls to zero and three. Ricky Henderson two for four, a double in the stolen base. Atlanta beats San Francisco six to two. Pasquale Perez found the stadium, goes to two and six. Adley Hamaker six and nine. Green one for one is six of the year. Philadelphia all over the Steelers fifteen to two. Steve Carlton goes to five and four. Lee Tunnel seven and ten. And Glenn Wilson three for five is thirteenth of the year. Drives in. Four. By the way, in that Yankee game, Dave Winfield had a hundred R has his hundredth RBI. The Mets strike out fifteen times and beat the Expos in fifteen, six to three. Tom Gorman goes to three and three. Grapenfin, easy for me to say, takes a loss so and one her Hernandez, Keith Hernandez, two for six with a triple. The Dodgers do their part. They beat Cincinnati seven two. Bob Welsh goes to eight and four. Ron Robinson seven and five. Kenny Landro two for four with a triple. But it won't be enough as the Astros beat the Padres two to one. Bob Nepper goes to twelve and twelve. Dave Dravecki nine and sixteen. Dickie Thon two for four is fifth of the year in a stolen base. Glenn Davis, by the way, a fifteen game hitting streak. Brewers beat the Red Sox, so Toronto's lead is five. Milwaukee four to two. Bob McClure five and one. Bruce Hurst nine and eleven. Gibson is eleven save. California beats Texas, so no change in that race. John Candelaria seven and one. Jeff Russell one and four. Doug DeSensei four for four, seventeenth of the year, and a double. Chicago beats Seattle seven to three. Bannister goes to six and thirteen. Bill Swift two and nine. Harold Baines, 3 for 5, is 22nd with 3 RBI. And since we didn't have a game schedule, we'll play this one out for you. And so let's do the games of September 15th. So on a Sunday, the Yankees get one back on Toronto. 5 to 4, that's now a 4.5 game lead. So the Yankees get the split that they need. Ed Whitson, 10 and 10. Doyle Alexander, 19 and 10. Barfield, 1 for 3. A triple and a walk. Atlanta beat San Francisco, 4 to 1. Steve Bedrosian, 7 and 15. Mason, 0 and 1. Shields with the save. Pirates beat. Um, hold on, I can go back here. And so I'll tell you because I saw what was coming up. The next game will be the Dodgers and. The Padres tomorrow, because a Dodger win or a Houston loss gives them the division. But first, let's do the games of Sunday the 15th. Pirates 3-2 to two over Philadelphia. We Cecilia Guante 7-3. Hudson Falls to 5-14. and 14. 
and Bialecki gets a save. Mets beat Montreal, and they are now tied nine and a half back of St. Louis, seven to six. Tom Gorman gets another win, four and three. Gary Lucas falls to five and four. Gary Carter goes home two for three, his 32nd with a double. Uh, Minnesota 2-1 to one over Cleveland. Burt Blylevin isn't going to lose with the Twins. He's 8-0. No. Smith falls to 5-2. and two. Brett Butler 2-4 two for four with the triple. The Dodgers clinch a tie in the National League West. 5-1 to one over the Reds. Fernando Valenzuela, 20-game winner in 85. Tom Browning, 13-13 and 13 in the loss. Cabell, 2-4, for four, a double, and a stolen base. Baltimore beats Detroit one nothing. Jack Morris loses. He throws a three hitter, gives up a run, strikes out eleven, and walk two. Don Osa gets the save. One nothing O's. St. Louis beats the Cubs eight to seven. Ken Daly seven and two. Meredith falls to three and two. Keith Moreland three for four, his ninth of the year. The Red Sox, well, it was good while it lasted. Jamie Cockenauer. And company beat the Red Sox senseless. 20 runs, 25 hits. Tim Gantner, 4 hits, 5 RBIs, and a triple, 20-4. to four. Kansas City in a doubleheader splits with Oakland, so California is ahead. They win the first one, 3-1. to one. Charlie Lieberant, 16-12 over Chris Cordioli. George Brett, 2-4. for four. 32nd homer and two RBI, but the A's win the nightcap five to four. Langford five and one. Black falls to 15 and 11. Smith three for four, his fifth RBI. California takes first place. Kirk McCaskill three hits the Rangers six to one. He goes to eight and seven. Juan Guzman 0 and one. Jackson Reggie three for four, 27th of the year, drives in two. Chicago beats Seattle six two. Davis with the win, Mark Langston with a loss, Joel Skinner 4-4 four four with his third RBI, and San Diego puts the Dodgers in a chance to win the division. Magic number is now one. The Dodgers are tied for the division championship. 3-1, to one, Lamar Hoyt beat Nolan Ryan, and Kevin Bass 3-5 for five with a stolen base. So the special will be tomorrow. Come on, hit the button. And we will play the Dodgers. They are 95 game winners. And they have a doubleheader, or they can win the division with an Atlanta win or a San Diego loss. And so, as we wait for, come on, we did two days. So that's that for that. You see the one there for Houston. That's the magic number. We will probably resolve the National League West tomorrow. So you get your champagne on ice. The Mets have caught Montreal, by the way. How about that? And California is in first place in the American League West. Dodgers Padres for the crown tomorrow. I'm Ron Zuckett. We'll talk to you. Have a great day, everybody. So long.